So this question is a diagram question because we're provided with the diagram here. So this diagram tells us that we have a glass. Um, we know the diameter here of the bottom of the glass, the diameter here of the opening or top of the glass. We know the height of the glass. We're also provided with the formula to find the volume of what we can fill the glass up with. And then the information here goes on to say the glass pictured above can hold a maximum volume of 473 cubic centimeters, so that's important, which is approximately 16 fluid ounces. Okay, so we have this relationship between cubic centimeters and fluid ounces in terms of volume. So what are we being asked for? So number 11 says Jenny has a pitcher that contains one gallon of water. How many times could Jenny completely fill the glass with one gallon of water? So basically, how many times does one gallon, which we're told is actually 128 fluid ounces, we know that the glass in terms of fluid ounces, right, is 16 fluid ounces. Right, so if this glass is empty and we have water here and we're pouring water into here, how many times could we do that? Well, this, sin, this tends to be or seems to be a very simple question in which we're just going to divide, right, 128 divided by 16 because that should give us a value for the number of times, basically, um, 16 goes into 128. Um, so let's see what that is. So 128 divided by 16 in my calculator. So what I get from that is eight, so eight times, right? So if I filled it the first time, if I poured out 16 ounces, right? The first time I can pour it out again and again and again, right? Of course, each time I'd be emptying, emptying those 16 ounces out before pouring in the next 16 ounces. So this eight just tells me that I can do that process a total of eight times and at that point in time, I will have exhausted or completed all 128 fluid ounces that, were, um, that I had in that gallon of water. So choice B is the best answer here.